I don't know. Ooh. You know, I kind of like that angle. I ain't gonna do it. Yo, so my whole life, I wanted to be rich and famous. Ever since I could remember, I wanted to be recognized on a global scale for my talent. I realized that I can't trust what I want. Thing that fame represents goes against what I stand for as a person. A lot of money, wealth. It typically involves um, it typically involves stepping over people. It typically involves this domineering mindset of by any means necessary. You know, who I got to fuck over to get to the top. This fame thing involves a lot of ties to um, these dark organizations that controls the way information gets put out, controls the visual aspect of art, whether it's music videos or what have you. And because I don't fuck with none of those things that fame represents and wealth represents, it creates a conflict within me because it doesn't change the fact that I want it still. Unfortunately, there's an industry connected to music that is also in communication with dark organizations that don't give a fuck about artists and don't give a fuck about even spreading um, um, empathy and compassion through the art and through the music and through the influence. They only give a fuck about making a profit by any means necessary. And this creates a conflict within me because I want to be on a large scale. I want to connect with as many people as I can through my music. How do I reconcile my principles and my integrity with things that don't correspond with that? You know what I mean? How do artists get to a point where they can connect with their audience without that connection coming at the expense of who they are and what they stand for. Because the music industry and the dark organizations that run and control the music industry and also the film industry in Hollywood are, are just flat out evil and the artists themselves end up getting corrupted by this system because they have to enter into it in order to connect with their audience, in order to do the thing that they always wanted to do. Unfortunately, they have to enter this evil industry that only sees them as a number and a sacrifice and a pawn. It irritates me because we live in this country of a long history of corruption and and evil shit and yet there's so there's an entire world that's unexplored and that's and that's unexplored because the people who control and run the world won't allow for exploration because they don't have a creative imagination they're not creative people at all they're just parasites and they've always been that it's inside of an artist to naturally want to explore new ideas so they can share it with the world, so they can inspire the world, and inspire the kids who are gonna be here 40, 50 years from now um, and have to adhere to the system we left. So really every step matters. Sometimes I go back and forth with, man, do, do these micro decisions I make on a day-to-day -day basis truly have an impact on the world in the long term? Like, does it really matter, basically? I don't know. I have hope. And we as people, as a, as a collective, 
hope is the one thing we we is the only thing we have for real because we live in this world that's so evil and that's so corrupted and with art being such a being being such a pure form of expression it becomes very vulnerable and easily taken advantage of artists are typically not the most linear thinkers because they're creative they're not supposed to be linear people they're not supposed to be no pun but black and white as an artist you're supposed to stand for truth but how can you stand for the truth when everything is based on a lie i have said this before how a lie and the truth are like interchangeable a lot of different in a lot of different ways and I say that because you constantly have to reconcile the two. This desire to be in Hollywood and to want fame, all of that shit is based on deception. But somehow through that deception, people will be able to realize that it's deception and find the truth in it. Like you have to go through the land of lies to find that light of truth. And all of these convoluted emotions and feelings and thoughts and desires, and especially the desire to want fame it just become um, uh, it just muddies the waters when you're trying to figure out exactly how to reconcile where you are and what you want versus where you want to be and if and is that what you really want is that where you really want to be we all had a pure heart at some point but we were brought into a system that is built to destroy us that's built to confuse us so Eventually, you would have to retrace all the steps and then clean up the mess on your way back. Remembering that every step back matters. Even though we're in a world that is constantly trying to tell you that you just came out of nowhere and that everything is random and your life don't have a point. It's not true. To want something that you can't trust is the most confusing idea in the world to me. The fact that I want fame and fortune and you know all the girls and all the drugs and all the outlandish experiences, it's hard for me to make that not just come true, but to make it fit into who I am as a person. What am I supposed to be doing? My responsibility is to be honest about the way that I feel and be honest about my observations because it. the truth is, what I want, it's never gonna change. It's never gonna go away, even if it's bad for me. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna sustain who I am you know, on my way there, on my way to get that thing that I want, that I can't even trust. Oh, Hollywood, Hollywood of the Holly tree and everything connected to it and what these things mean. Why, why do I want this? Knowing how evil and corrupted it truly is and how fucked up it really is. Why do I still want to be rich and famous? Why? I've done so much shit, produced so much shit. How am I not able to value that more than just being famous? There's no other way for me to put it. I'm repeating myself a lot because I can't say it no other way. I don't know how to reconcile the two. And it's very confusing for me, right? It's, it's self undoing. It makes me question myself a lot. And hopefully through this question, I can eventually find a way to reconcile it. Make sure that that's everything. You know, whenever I speak, I try my best to
get everything out while I can. It's almost like I create like it's my last day here. It's so impulsive and it's so in the moment <clears throat> that I pick up things as I watch things back and study what it is that I'm saying and what my message truly is. To convey the way the thought makes me feel and how the thought connects to what my reality is and not just conveying the thought itself. Am I getting my message out as honest as possible? <clears throat> 